coil, and its uses in electronics. A coil, also known as an inductor, is an essential passive electronic component used in a wide range of applications. It consists of a tightly wound wire or conductor, often around a core made of a magnetic material. When current flows through the coil, it generates a magnetic field, which makes coils particularly useful in various electronic devices and circuits. Let's explore the principles behind coils and some of their common applications. Principle of Operation The operation of a coil is based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which states that a changing magnetic field induces a voltage in a nearby conductor. When an electric current flows through a coil, it creates a magnetic field around it, and if the current changes, the magnetic field also changes. This change in the magnetic field induces an electromotive force, EMF, or voltage across the coil. The strength of the magnetic field and the amount of induced voltage depend on factors such as the number of turns in the coil, the current flowing through it, and the core material, if present. Coils are designed to store energy in the form of magnetic fields and are used in various applications where the property of inductance is desirable. The principle of operation of a coil, also known as an inductor, is based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. This fundamental law, formulated by Michael Faraday in the early 19th century, describes the relationship between a changing magnetic field and the induction of an electromotive force, EMF, or voltage in a nearby conductor. When an electric current flows through a coil, it generates a magnetic field around it, with the strength of the magnetic field directly proportional to the amount of current passing through the coil. The magnetic field lines form closed loops around the coil. The crucial aspect of the principle lies in what happens when the current through the coil changes. If the current increases or decreases, the magnetic field around the coil also changes. When this change occurs, the magnetic field lines expand or contract, respectively, and this change in magnetic flux induces an EMF or voltage across the coil. This induced EMF opposes the change that caused it, following Lenz's law. For instance, if the current through the coil is increasing, the induced voltage will try to impede the increase in current. Conversely, if the current is decreasing, the induced voltage will try to oppose the decrease in current. The formula that describes this phenomenon mathematically is EMF E equals N asterisk D phi slash DT, where EMF E is the induced electromotive force or voltage across the coil. N is the number of turns in the coil. D phi slash DT is the rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. The negative sign in the formula indicates the opposition to the change in current in accordance with Lenz's law. The inductance of the coil determines the magnitude of the induced EMF for a given rate of change of current. Inductance is measured in Henry's H and is a property of the coil that describes its ability to store energy in the form of a magnetic field. The principle of electromagnetic induction underlying the operation of coils is foundational to various applications in electronics, such as transformers, inductive sensors, chokes, and inductors used in filters and RF circuits. It is a crucial concept in understanding the behavior of inductors and their role in controlling and manipulating electrical signals in electronic circuits. Inductors play a crucial role in filters, which are electronic circuits designed to pass or block specific frequencies from a signal. Filters are used to separate different frequency components in a signal and are essential for various applications, such as signal processing, audio systems, communication devices, and radio frequency, RF, circuits. Inductors are specifically employed in three types of filters, low-pass filters, high-pass filters, and band-pass filters. 1. Low-pass filters, LPF. A low-pass filter allows low-frequency components of a signal to pass through while attenuating higher frequencies. It is commonly used to remove noise and unwanted high-frequency components from a signal, leaving only the desired low-frequency components. In a low-pass filter circuit, the inductor is placed in series with the load, output, and is connected in parallel with the resistor. This configuration creates a low-pass filter known as an inductor capacitor, LC, filter or a T-filter. The inductor's high impedance to high-frequency signals causes them to be directed towards the ground through the capacitor, 
while low-frequency signals face minimal impedance and pass through to the load. 2. High-pass filters, HPF. A high-pass filter permits high-frequency components of a signal to pass through while attenuating lower frequencies. It is commonly used to remove unwanted low-frequency noise and isolate higher-frequency components. In a high-pass filter circuit, the inductor is placed in series with the input signal, while the resistor is connected in parallel with the load. This configuration results in a high-pass filter known as an inductor resistor, LR, filter or an pi filter. The inductor's low impedance to high-frequency signals allows them to pass through to the load while low-frequency signals face significant impedance and are blocked. 3. Band Pass Filters, BPF A band pass filter allows a specific range of frequencies, known as the passband, to pass through while attenuating frequencies outside this range. It is commonly used in applications where a specific frequency range needs to be isolated or extracted from a broader spectrum. Bandpass filters are typically constructed by combining both low-pass and high-pass filters. The inductor is used in both sections to create a bandpass response. One common configuration is the LCR filter, which combines an inductor, L, capacitor, C, and resistor, R. The inductor's properties, such as its inductance value, along with the values of capacitors and resistors, determine the cutoff frequencies and bandwidth of the filter. In summary, inductors are essential components in filter circuits, helping to shape the frequency response of signals by allowing certain frequency components to pass through while suppressing others. The type of filter and its specific frequency characteristics are determined by the arrangement of inductors, capacitors, and resistors in the filter circuit.